This conference will now be recorded. Fine. So yesterday we were talking about the uh, foreign key relationship, like how we can validate a record if we are going to insert a, a record into a new table, which is uh, which some of the rec some of the field is dependent on the um, master data field. So that we have seen when we have to maintain the foreign key relationship in that case. Uh, okay. So when we have to maintain the foreign key relationship, how we can do that, how we can establish the check table relationship, that part we have seen yesterday. Now we'll be looking into the view part. Okay, let's go to the system and we will see how we can create a view. So there are four types of view in uh, SAP. Uh, in this data dictionary, we are having four types of view. So one is the database view, another is the projection view, third is the help view, and fourth is the maintenance view. So we are having four types of view basically. Uh, in this also, we'll be looking about what's the difference between table and the structure, uh, what is the buffering all these things, but not at this point of time again I will come back over here and I will show you once uh, this uh, uh, Basic ABAP will be completed a kind of revision. It will be there again. We will come over here and we will see All those important stuff just I'm covering the basic things as of now and then again I will be coming over here in the data dictionary and we will be covering the the remaining uh, topics as well. Okay, so fine. So we'll be looking uh, what are the different types of uh, view. Let's go and see. Okay. So we are having four types of view, but what is view? What is view? View is nothing but uh, actually you are having a different table available. For example, you are having uh, Mara table, you are having Marcy table, you are having Mara, you are having Marcy. Mara is the table for material master. It holds the material master record. Marcy is the plant master. It holds all the uh, information related with a plant. Okay, so suppose if you want to manipulate the data from Mara and Marcy, and together if you want to see some record from Mara and Marcy based upon some join condition. Okay. Whatever the material over here in the Mara table for that material, if you want to see what are the associated plant is there in the Marcy table, we will have to perform the join on this Mara and Marcy. Then only we will be able to see the record from both the table. Okay. So we exactly does the same thing okay we exactly does the same thing if we're going to perform the inner join between two or more than two table we are supposed to use the database view okay we are supposed to use the database view sometimes it will come across a requirement where from a same table okay sometimes it will come across a requirement where from a same table you want to see some list of fields. For example, this Mara is having around 300 fields. You would like to see some four or five fields from this Mara table at a time, uh, not all the 300. In that case also, the view will help you. That view is known as the projection view, okay? That view is known as the projection view, fine. So let me go ahead and write it so view is nothing but it is for the purpose to face the data from the 
one table or different table and show in the desired way at runtime so it is it is for the purpose of it is for the purpose of fetching the data from one or more than one table okay uh, and show in the desired way at runtime okay that means view does not store the data it will just fetch the data from the different table and it will show you in the desired format for example suppose for example suppose we are having the table called mara over here okay this mara is having so many fields you can see 309 fields if you come over here and if you see that here it is showing 309 fields however here we are having different technical settings and all through which what we can do that we can do the settings and you know we'll be able to see those fields only right choose the field this uh, uh, like uh, if you don't want to see this all these 309 fields we are having here like you can go here you can go to this format list choose fields and whatever field you want to i'm going to deselect and whatever field you want to see from here you can see but the another way you know here we are able to see only four fields so one more way we are having that is known as the projection view okay there are benefit is that for the projection view i will tell you what is the benefit okay but if you want to see only the four fields what you can do that you can use the projection view okay so i'm going to create the projection view projection view means one table can be projected in a different way projection view means one table can be projected in a different way so go to this view and i'm going to create z mb 24 underscore projection view click on this create button here you can see that first is the database view second is the projection view third maintenance and fourth is the help there are four types of view we are having database view is the purpose of to maintain the inner join between more than two tables this is if from a single table if you want to display some set of fields so come over here i'm selecting the projection view and give the projection view and from which table i want to show the data whatever the table we are having the same table i'm putting over here from the mara i want to display the data and here if you click on this table fields you know just select the field you want to see so now what is there we are having four fields over here just have selected four fields the savior local object check the syntax and it's fine there is no problem it is just a warning we can ignore that one activate this one and then it is got uh, it is now activated here you can see it is in active status okay it is in active status now if you can go and see the content no database table exists for table what is this no database table exists for table jmb24 projection view this mara is there we are having this let me activate once again okay try to some no database table exists for the table jmb24 what is this the basis table we have selected this is fine the matnr all these things is also fine the maintenance status this is also okay the properties this is also okay it should display no inconsistent uh, inconsistencies found and the active object generated if we click on this content it should actually display the content 
only that four fields it is telling no database table exist this mara is the database table and it exists but here it is telling some error no database table exists for table mb24 projection underscore view no problem i am having one more system i will just go and check over there okay i will go and check over there i have system over here let me log into that I will go and create over here SC11 will go and here I will go to the view and MB24 projection view I want to create a projection view click on this create button select this projection view click on this ok button absorb the constraint for using logical database okay mine this is a short description test basis table i'm going to give the mara once again over here and table field here i'm going to select matner these four fields just i'm selecting from here okay now check the syntax save it local object go back activate this so now it's getting activated some warning occur i don't want to see the warning go to the content now and here it's a, a displaying so there is something problem in that system here it's working fine right so here this is how we can create the projection view okay so from a same table you can see from the mara table from the mara table here you know from this mara table we are having this many field and if i want to see only the five fields or four fields that fields we can select and we can see over here benefit of this projection view is that you know when you are going to use the select query and suppose you have a program suppose you have a program over here so actually we use the transaction ac38 to create a program okay ac38 is the transaction to create the program and slash o is to create a new session so slash o opened in a new session and this ac38 is the t code which is getting opened in the new session when i have pressed enter now i'm going to create one program zmb24 demo something like that click on this create button and test over here now you might be thinking that in at suppose just only looking the data in a different perspective why to go and create the view right just looking the data into the different uh, from the different perspective why to go and create the view because suppose if mara is my table over here and from this mara if i want to see the data i can go and uh, uh, i can you know uh, like means i can go and i can select only that field and i will be able to see that field right this format list just we have seen that if we have to choose only four fields i can choose and i can see you know the benefit of this projection view is that you know that we are having a select query we write the select query in order to fetch the data from the database table okay so suppose if you want to fetch the data you know select from mara you have to you know from mara if you are willing to fetch some uh, matner mtart or whatever the first four field is there you know just we can copy from here 
this field this field if you want to fetch from the mara table okay from mara into table some it underscore mara okay so this is one way we can do but if you have a view created for this four field what you can do that you don't have to write this four field what you can do that sim simply you can write select a star from and the name of the view we can give it over here this is the name of the view this is the name of the view this view name uh, we can give over there and in this view we are having four fields right and we are using over here a star means take all the field so in this view we are having four fields only so what it will do that it will go and take all the four fields what we have writing over here in this way so without writing the name of this particular field simply by using the star from this table we are able to see the data okay so just select query is going to be a little bit easy okay however this projection view is not going to be used so frequently okay fine but database view we are having one more view called database view so what we understood at this point of time we are having four types of view in fact okay one is the database view second one is the projection view just i have shown you one is the database view database view is nothing but inner join on one or more than one table one or more than one table this is the database view okay this is frequently used sap has also used a lot this view database view projection view just we have seen that from a same table projection view from the same table if you want to display some data okay fetching data uh, fetching fetching some fields from the same tables from the same table this is a projection view third one we are having the help view okay third one we are having the help view this view is generally used for the purpose of performing the outer join related query in the search help this is going to be helpful in search help okay so this we will see in the detail in the search help and then we are having the fourth view is the maintenance view this is the similar as the table maintenance generator maintenance view so if you know the tmg you know if you know the tmg this maintenance view you can easily create so if you want to maintain uh, more than one table at a time this maintenance view generally is used okay fine important is that this database view important one is the database view but from interview point of view we are supposed to know the name of all this view uh, all, all this view at least and what's the use of this view at least we should know okay so we understood database view is for the purpose of uh, putting the inner join on more than one table projection view if we're going to face the data from the same table okay the sales view is nothing but it's going to be used for the purpose of how to join on some different table and then whenever join comes into the picture multiple table will come into the picture whenever the join comes into the picture multiple table will come into the picture because join is only possible with multiple table more than one table and the maintenance view over here the tmg we have seen this is for the purpose of maintaining the you know maintaining the two or more table which is inner joined together okay maintaining more than two table okay at a time 
more than two table at a time. So these are some different view we are having. And now I will show you how to create the database view. These are very easy to create this database view, this projection view, help view and the maintenance view you already know. We have seen that how to create a table maintenance generator. So if you know that this is also going to be very easy. Okay, let's go to the system. Uh, in that system, it's creating some problem. Let me show in this system only slash n is SC uh, 11 here we can go and create the database view so I'm going to create the DB view click on this create button so when we are going to create the DD view database view, just select from there and here the DB view demo okay and the table the list of table because you have to perform the inner join right so the list of table you can you know give here the list of table you can give from which you want to fetch the data for example i want to fetch the data from mara and marcy right so we are having the mara table we are having the marcy table mara is having all the material information marcy is having all the plant related with that material so what i want to know that i want to see the list of plant for a specific material okay i want to see a list of plant for the specific materials so material wise i want to see list of plant so i will put a inner join on mara and marcy okay i will put a inner join in order to perform that particular you know inner join operation and to see the list of field so here now i have given this mara and marcy click on this relationship so matner of mara table should be equal to the matner of marcy table okay marcy mara here you can see that marcy and mara and the reference table which is there just click on this copy first one i have selected and you can see that the mara matner automatically the system is showing over here this relationship matner of mara should be equal to marcy uh, should be equal to matner of marcy and whatever the field is going to be equal it's going to give you the output over there right so i don't know if you understand the concept of inner divine and all or not if you not understand it will be a little tricky to understand so first let me explain a little bit about the join what are the diff different types of join then you will be able to understand it in a better way so i have a data available already here in this example data and i will demonstrate what is actually the inner join what is the outer join okay all join okay so here just observe let's try to understand what is join so actually we are having four types of join one is the inner join one is the inner join another is the full outer join okay then the left outer join right outer join inner join outer join outer join is also known as the full outer join okay then the left outer join and the right outer join what's the meaning of this join let's first understand the inner join suppose we are having this table employee table and here this table is show having the country of the employee okay this is the employee table here this is the employee id this is the first name last name we are having over here okay under this employee table employee country table i am having employee id this employee id is having the country this and their language is also there okay now i want to see the information together from the employee table from this employee table and from this employee country table together what i want to see together i want to see employee id i want to see the first name i want to see the country and i want to see the 
language together okay so whichever the common data between this employee table and employee country table is there that only i want to see okay so if we're going to see the common data between two table okay if we're going to see the common data between two table that's the meaning of inner join and that's the meaning of inner join okay so here you can see that so actually if i can tell you about the inner join suppose this is one circle we are having so we can represent it with the help of a venn diagram we can represent with the help of a venn diagram that is possible okay so here i'm just going to take it on front uh, how to show this one maybe i can show here so here suppose this is one circle we are having and one more circle we can have over here so this is this is a one table this is a one table we are having okay this is one table for example this is mara table and this is another another table we are having marcy table so now whatever we are having the common over here whatever the we are having the common over here this particular you know area this this is actually the inner join okay only the common you know only the common field we are going to display over here okay now we are having the left outer join okay this is the inner join now the left outer join the left outer join is nothing but suppose this is another circle and again uh, we are having uh, one more circle over here so again this is mara table and this is marcy table okay this is this is mara table and this is marcy table mara and marcy so in the left outer join what will happen that all the data from mara table will come all the data from the mara table will come and whatever the common whatever the common data is there from marcy that also will come okay all the data from mara and whatever the common you know whatever the common data is there that will also come so all this together in this you know in this uh, color and this dark color both together will come okay now if you take about the right outer join so this is actually your left outer join this is your left outer join okay now we are having the right outer join the right outer join now you might have understand what is going to be there in the right outer join okay so in the right outer join this right table is the data is going to come from this right table and data is going to come from this right table so what is the right table over here right outer join okay right outer join here the data is there from the marcy table so all the data from the marcy table and whatever the common data we are having over here everything is going to come okay so select this button put over here and this 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 both marcy is going to come okay from all this a dark area is going to come in the right outer join and in the full outer join everything is going to come from the uh, mara from the marcy and whatever the common is there you know that is also going to come so in the full outer join everything is going to come that's the meaning of you know all these different type of join 
all this different type of join that's the meaning of everything is going to come okay in the full outer join okay let's go to the data and try to understand over here so here employee table we are having employee country we are having and now i want to put the inner join on this employee table and employee country so as we understood whatever the common data is there between employee table and employee country that is going to come inside this inner join okay so here you can see that the common data one two three four five employee id and here five four five six seven eight is there so only this four five and this four five is common so here when i'm performing the inner join only this four five related all the detail is coming so the name detail is coming from this employee table and other detail like country and language is coming from here from the second table so only these two record is matching from both the table that's why it's coming because it's the inner join when you when you talk about the left outer join all the data from left left will come you can see that all the data one two three four five all the data from left has come and whatever the matching record from the right is there so for this matching uh, from the from the right table four five this only this field is there so four four five rc so india nepal hindi english is coming when you talk about the right in right outer join all the data from the right will come you can see four five six seven eight four five six seven eight all the data from right has come and india nepal china usa uk right you can see here hindi english all this thing is coming and then the name is coming from the left table because only these two is matching rc and soha right so rc and soha is coming other is blank right other is blank because no data and in the full outer join everything is coming one two three four five from this employee table one two three four five is coming from this employee table and four five six seven eight and four five six seven eight the repeated you know employee id will come only once it is not like it will come twice only one it will come okay that's why four five is common so it's coming coming only one and now from the left name it's coming right you can see that left name and the country it's coming from here because all the data from the both the table it's coming so that's the meaning of join okay so now go to the system here we are having the system and here we are performing what is the common field matner is the common field between mara and marcy okay so you might uh, you already be knowing about the mara and marcy mara is the table for the material master just i have explained and marcy is the table for the uh, plant master and between both the table matner is the common field so based upon this common field i'm putting the join activate this one okay and it's got activated it's telling that no table or fields are defined for view okay fine it didn't get activated some error is there because just we have given the inner join condition but we didn't define the view fields what are the fields we want to see so what actually i want to see that i want to see the matner from the marcy table or mara table anything is fine because the matner is going to be the same from both the table okay so table is mara a view field is matner you can give this name different also a view field name you can give this different also and the field over here from the mara it's a matner this is a technical field press enter okay here this view field from the uh here you can give some another like for example plant you want to see so you can give in the uh, readable format plant and then it's going to come from the mass table and actual technical name which system can understand that is vox vox stands for plant press enter there's two fields i want to see you can give all the list of fields whatever you want to see check the syntax now there should not be any error just these are the warning okay and activate this so just i have activated this one it will tell that some warning is there i'm just ignoring that warning 
click on this content and just press f8 so from both the table you can see that from both the table data is coming so for this material you know this material multiple plants are there right you can see that 58 number you know 58 number material multiple plants we are having okay so how it was possible it was possible with the help of inner join okay it was possible with the help of inner join okay so if you go and verify just copy this one 58 number 58 number material is there in the mara table okay if you go and check in the mara table you will be able to find go to this mara table click on this display button go to this content and here you can give the particular material you can see this material is there only one material is here but for this material you have multiple entry in the marcy table that entry is being shown by the inner join you don't have to write any code system is doing code for you right so that's the beauty of this database join so if you don't know how to use the join how to write the inner join in select query you can easily use this view okay you can easily use this view and once you create the view after that you can use the select a star from marcy or whatever the uh, from that view name and whatever the field you want to fetch that field you can fetch okay go to this marcy and i will give that material number over here and press f8 you can see all this you know 1300 right so the inner join has been automatically applied for you with the help of database join and this if you are feeling difficulty to put the inner join mainly to the functional consultant you know what you can do that you can create a view and on that from that view whatever the data you want to select is whatever the field you want to select that field you can use in your select query okay so here two field we are having you can use material plant uh, if you want to include some more field you know any number of field you can include over here okay here this also gives the option whatever field you want to include right from mara from mara whatever field i, I want to include some more field some three fields more mtart mbrss matkl from mara i want to include and from marci i want to include so you can click on this table field and it will give you the option uh, just double click from marci and from marci i want to include this field so you can include these fields and whatever the you know uh, fields you want to take in a select query that only you can take simply select plant mtart and this from this view name into internal table that's it and if you want you want to put their wear condition there also you can put or also here also it gives the wear condition if you want to put some particular condition here also you can put so everything is possible okay once you understand the select query how to write then in the better position you will be able to understand right so uh, suppose suppose here you want to put the select query for for a uh, you know for for a particular plant only you want to see the data okay so i want to see only data related to some particular plant okay i want to see so we are having multiple value right for for this plant let's go and check some plant we are having 1000 right so we can give the 1000 plant over here and here if you come you are also having the you know and or or condition you can give and or or okay so first i will show you just by giving the simple over here like marse works and 1000 save it check it and that's fine no problem this is just a warning if something is coming into red that we'll have to bother about more okay this is fine i don't want to see the warning and now you will be able to see only the data related with 1000 okay 
come over here press f8 and you can see that only plant whatever the plant you are having 1000 that related only the data it is showing so whatever the uh, whatever you know uh, the material you are having at this particular at 1000 plant it is showing over here so directly now what you can do that now in the select query you don't have to give any condition in select query if we are going to write a program in the select query directly you can give select a star from this database view and it will take all the field this condition will be automatically applied but you know if you want to if you don't want to give this condition over here directly in the select query select uh, the the whatever field you want to uh, select that field from the table uh, uh, from this view and where condition in the where condition you can give plant equal to that 1000 like that you can give in the that also will look into fine so this was the database join okay this was the database join uh, now the help uh, help view we are having another the help view and the maintenance view help view is required when we will look into the search help to perform the left outer join stuff and the maintenance view you already know it is same as the TMG okay what I will do that I will now create a search help okay I will create now a search help okay what is this search help what is the use of this search help what is the use of this search help see here when i'm going to this mara table when i'm going to this mara table you can see that this mara table is when when i'm clicking on this content here when i'm pressing this f4 button or and that small icon when I was pressing it's giving you you know different different search criteria you can see that lot many search criteria you are having how it is coming how it is coming is it coming simply no it's not coming simply there is a reason behind this it's coming because it's coming like that because It's coming like that because you know the search help has been assigned to that particular data element related with the material I will just show you go here go back this Mara you are able to see over here and this Matner is the data element double click over here okay so Matner uh, I was looking into the search help for the Matner right and here under the further characteristic for this data element the search help has been applied is underscore mat1 so this search help is actually responsible for you know showing all this whatever you are able to see press f8 you can see that different different you know search criteria we are having mat now work the start you know so many things is there so actually whatever it is coming over there everything everything whatever we are able to see there that is coming because of the search help okay so now we have created one table called employee and for the employee table also i want to define a search help i want to create a search help z a star and emp all right okay this is not here actually in this system it is let me go into this system and now i will go to s11 and here we have created this mb24 employee click on this display button right and click on this content you can this you can see that for this employee id there is no search help is coming at this point of time so what i will do that i will create a search help okay let's go and create a search help click on this search help and z custom search help okay click on this create button 
there are two types of search help one is the elementary search help and other is the collective search help. we will see what is the different okay elementary search help and collective search help i'm going to select this elementary search help elementary search help is having only one option to show you the search help collective search help is going to have the multiple option as we have seen in the mara table right for the material the multiple option was coming okay so that is the collective search help first we will see this elementary search help once you know how to create the elementary search help then you know it it will be uh, then only will be able to create the collective because collective search help is nothing but the collection of elementary search help okay click on this ok button and come over here give that elementary search help and the selection method here selection method what you will have to do you will have to give the name of the table okay from where you want to fetch the data right so from which table you want to fetch the data from or for this employee table i want to actually create the search help so here here when i press f4 what data i want to see i want to see the data from the same table only at this particular moment okay so it is having some employee id some one two three employee date is having i want to see from the same table if you want to take if you want to display the search help from the different table you can give that particular table over here the name of the table that's it okay press enter here search help parameter will have to pass okay so the search help parameter here what you can pass that you can press f4 it will give you the option right so employee id certainly i'm going to keep it and then the second one so in the first field i will be choosing this one second i'm going to choose the you know employee first name so two parameter i'm just passing it over here and import parameter to just supply the value so i'm selecting both the parameter however both is not mandatory and export parameter just to you know uh to export the value this is just to import and this is just to export this is the list position and this is the screen position okay one is the list position and another is the uh, screen position so just give over here one or two a screen position one and two okay and here any question anyone is having any question over here okay fine so this is the data element automatically coming over here and default value this is fine if you want to modify the data element you know you can you can click on this button automatically it will give you the modify option <clears throat> just save it local object check it and activate it now it got activated run this one and you can see that your search help is now created it's very easy to create a search help you can see for this employee id and employee first name right list position and screen position okay we'll see that list position and screen position this is the list position first employee id is coming and second is first name is coming okay if you select it's automatically come one and ram over here it's getting selected right yeah what is your list position and what is a screen position what is list position and what is a screen position list position you can see it's coming in the list if you want to put this first name at this position first position and employee id at the second position what you can do that here it's giving the option list position you can give over here two and here you can give one so two i have given for this employee id and one i have given for this employee first name okay okay save it and activate it press f it now if you see that you can see that first name is now coming at the first position right first name is now coming at the first position and employee id is coming at the second position because i have changed the uh, here you know uh, i have changed the sequence over here i have put the two and one over here now what is the screen position a screen position means when you 
if, if you click on the F4 button here, it is coming a small triangle. Click on here, and this is actually a screen position, employee ID and first name, okay? <laughs> employee ID and first name. So here you can see that a screen position, what I have given, one or two. One for the employee ID, so employee ID is coming as the first position, and employee first name is coming at the second position on the screen. Okay, this is known as screen position. If you put these two over here for this employee ID, employee ID will come at the second position. Means two means second, one means first. Okay, so like that. So that is the meaning of this screen position and list position. Your search help, elementary search help is now created. And now what you want to do that, if you want to assign that search help to the DB table, what you can do that, go into the change mode, click over here, click on this search, sorry, that is the foreign key relationship, click on this search, okay. This is actually search help, okay. So I have just clicked on this search help. It's taking some time. Yeah, and here you can give the search help name. So just I'm assigning the search help. Parameter assignment is not unique. Check proposal. Okay. Click on this OK button. And here it is proposing employee underscore ID. And here employee underscore F underscore name. This is fine. Click on this copy button. That's it. Your search help is applied. Click on this activate button. It is now activated. Click on this content. And now if you'll go, you can see that it's coming this F for help over here. So this is how the search help is applied. Right, and if you select over here automatically their employee ID and under the employee of name, this John is getting applied. Okay, so this is the elementary search help. If you want to create the collective search help, that is also possible. To create the collective search help, you require multiple elementary search help. Okay, you should have multiple elementary search help. At this point of time, if you have any question, please let me know. Okay. Please let me know if you have any question. For the collective search help, I will not cover over here. That is not required for the basic or very basic of app or for the functional people. This is this much knowledge is fine from the data dictionary. If you know this much, you will be able to handle so many things. You know, the collective I will cover later. Okay because in this 15 hours i have to cover so many things so again that will be a problem okay i will be talking about the lock object a little bit so you will get a bit idea about the lock object how it's going to work just the theoretical aspect and then i will go to the report tomorrow and i will start working on this report part okay Fine then, with this we can stop our today's session and if you have any question, please feel free to ask any question if you have related with this. Okay, what I would suggest that I have some assignment if you do that assignment, it will be better for you to, you know, uh, understand this concept, what we are learning over here. So we are having data dictionary assignment, what you have learned over here. If you, I will just, I will be sharing you this assignment over here. Okay. What you have to do that, you will have to create this table. Okay. At least you create some table three or four table will be sufficient, okay? Just create this table and try to put the foreign key relationship between them. This is the diagram I have created over here uh, in order to apply the foreign key relationship, like how the relationship should be there. So just create this student table, a student profile table, okay? Uh, this enrollment table, okay? This semester table and this course table. If we're going to create this table, the relationship, this student ID is over here, you know, the primary key for this student, okay? This uh, student ID is the primary key for this student. And when you are going to create the enrollment table here, this combination of these three is the foreign key, okay? So this student ID, only you can enter that student ID, which is there, okay? So this, this is going to be, you know, combination of these three is 
primary key in this enrollment table actually okay combination of this three key is the primary key in this enrollment table now i just want to put the validation that whatever the student is here in the main student table that a student only should be entered into this enrollment table okay so to do that you have to apply the you know foreign key relationship we have just discussed so what you do that first you create the student table then you create the enrollment table okay and then you create this course table just create this three table only that will be sufficient okay the student table enrollment table and the course table okay so and here this course id whatever you know course id is here it should be it should be certainly here because the foreign key relationship is maintained with this course table in this course this is the primary key course is your master table okay this course is your master table this student is also a master table or independent table you can see this is a independent table okay this is a independent so just create this student this enrollment table and the course table this will be sufficient and try to establish the foreign key relationship once you are able to do successfully this foreign key relationship then i will show you how you have to you know here also like how to create the table and all, all this information is there if you go through this you will be able to understand here what you have to select the key what you will have to select the data element what is the data type decimal places all these things is there right this is already there some hints is also it's given over there if you're not able to understand just you can read it over here and you will be able to uh, you know able you will be able to understand it okay just try to do yourself you are facing some issue take help of this you know like what kind of data type you will have to do you can decide yourself also the data type and all it is not a hard uh, not hard and fast but if you want to refer what should be the data type what should be the data element you can refer this one okay the main thing is to practice main thing is to practice so for student table this is for enrollment table this is for the student table this is please create this you know course enrollment and a student table and practice this one and share in the group okay fine then i will be sharing this you uh with all of Pankaj, you this, uh, Pankaj, yeah. is this already shared somewhere uh, the spreadsheet i will be sharing with you uh, just uh, uh, please share your email id over here and i will be uh, what i will do that i will put in a google drive uh and uh, i will share the link for that google drive okay. and is the is this already there on the google drive that you shared earlier in the earlier batch yeah yeah there it's there yes okay. in the earlier okay. batch it's there, there. yeah sure. yeah thank you okay no problem in earlier batch it's there okay and here whoever like is here please share your email id i will be sharing this uh, particular diagram this particular assignment i will be giving now on words assignment and it's better if you complete the assignment for having the better command what we are learning over here okay so fine then uh let's yeah. meet tomorrow pankaj one question is uh when are we yes. uh, when we will get uh, the videos lectures which we already recorded this uh, video see first 15 hours i am planning to put the youtube because this is just uh, uh, for the functional purpose and i want to make it completely free so it will be there on the youtube also and i will be keeping this uh, in google drive also so today i will put okay. all these three on the youtube and i will let you know you are there in the group right whatsapp group yes and could you please share your presentations too Yes, yes, I will be sharing share your email ID uh, uh, in that group uh, so that what I will do that I will create a Google Drive and there I will be sharing all this material. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Bye bye.